Hello everyone, once again, back to Let's Play Oblivion with Bug Might. And after taking a day break, being so busy the previous day, I am now back at this again. And as you may remember, I just finished, uh... Sorry, I just thought I wanted to test something there. I'm not sure what's up. Anyway, I just uh, <coughs> explored that fort at, and now I'll move on. As I was going to Coral. Finally, meet Joffrey. It doesn't look like it should be a terribly long walk from here. Uh, it is getting late, though. Yep. It's evening. But regardless, let's just head on over there. Yeah. Tiger lilies. Tiger lily nectars. Huh. Okay, cool. Now let's go. Do -do 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 -do. Yeah, I'm sure I'll need to rest when Odell Farm. Hmm. Uh, I guess it's closed. Flax seeds. Uh, maybe it'll be open tomorrow. But oh well. Anyway, oh wait, something else? Nope. Let's just move on. And yeah, to Joffrey is should be. Uh, Wayne and Priory is just outside Coral, it seems. Take that. And this. Collect things like that as we walk along, even though you don't really have to. I guess it's good to do so in the beginning. Oh, something else. Vipers blow gla bug loss leaves. <laughs> okay, so that's the name of that flower. Okay. <clears throat> More. Some that have nothing. Alright. Oh. Yeah. And is this it? Is this Wayne and Priory? It looks like it. It must be. Ah, yep. And he is here indeed. Uh, okay. <coughs> Which building would he be? Yeah, first let me collect all these. Actually, I think I found uh, the, the Steel Bloom and, and Ptolema caps. I think I've actually found a use for those. Uh, I can take things from this barrel. Oh! Just what I need. In fact, let's just uh, repair some of my gear right now. Yeah, for sure that and that okay well I got my armor skill up so that's something <laughs> Wayne and house hi yes can I help you uh, I must speak to Joffrey he's upstairs go ahead why thank you you don't even ask who I am you just allow me to do it well that's cool <coughs> and you are? Welcome, good citizen. I'm Brother Pina, and this is Wayne and Priory, a monastery. Can I help you? Well, maybe you can tell me about Joffrey. Oh, yes. He'll be in the Priory house somewhere. Okay. What's the Order of Talos? We are a monastic order devoted to divine Talos, who was the mortal Tiber Septim, the founder of the Empire. Ah, really? 
And what about the blades? Like members of my order, the blades are devoted to the divine talus. We honor them for their dedication and devotion. Indeed. Okay, well, Bye. see ya. Let's see her. Are you... Would you be... Hey, it's you. You're Joffrey, huh? I'm Brother Joffrey. What do you want? I brought you the Emperor of Kings. This cannot be. No one but the Emperor is permitted to handle the amulet. Let me see it. Yeah, take a look. It's genuine, believe me. By the Nine. This is the Amulet of Kings. Who are you? How did you get this? What do you know of the Emperor's death? Well, I know that I witnessed his death. <laughs> but I'll tell you all about him. What as unlikely as your story sounds, I believe you. Only the strange destiny of Uriel Septim could have brought you to me carrying the Amulet of Kings. So, who is the Prince of Destruction you mentioned? The Prince of Destruction he referred to is none other than Merun's Dagon, Ooh. one of the lords of the demonic world of Oblivion. Oh. The Emperor's words, close shut the jaws of Oblivion, certainly suggest that he perceived some threat from Oblivion. How did he know? A vision? But all the scholars agree that the mortal world is protected from the Daedra of Oblivion by magical barriers. Hmm. How can Oblivion threaten us then? I'm not sure. Only the Emperors truly understand the meaning behind the rituals of coronation. I see. The Amulet of Kings is ancient. Saint Alicia herself received it from the gods. It is a holy relic of great power. Hmm. When an Emperor is crowned, he uses the amulet to light the dragon fires at the Temple of the One in the Imperial City. With the Emperor dead and no new heir crowned, the dragon fires in the Temple will be dark for the first time in centuries. Hmm. It may be that the dragon fires protected us from a threat that only the Emperor was aware of. Hmm. Well, the Emperor asked me to find a son of his. I am one of the few who know of his existence. Many years ago, I served as captain of Uriel's bodyguards, the Blades. Uh -huh. One night, Uriel called me into his private chambers. A baby boy lay sleeping in a basket. Uriel told me to deliver him somewhere safe. He never told me anything else about the baby, but I knew it was his son. From time to time, he would ask about the child's progress. Hmm. Now it seems that this illegitimate son is the heir to the Septim throne, if he yet lives. So where can I find Uriel's son? His name is Martin. He serves Akatosh in the chapel in the city of Kvach, south of here. You must go to Kvach and find him at once. If the enemy is aware of his existence, as seems likely, he is in terrible danger. And please, let me know if there's anything you need. My resources here are limited, but I will help in any way I can. <coughs> okay. Now, there's quite a bit to ask here. Yeah, okay. So, maybe you can tell me more about the Amulet of Kings. It will be safest here with me. When you return with Martin, we will figure out our next move. So, how else can I help you? I keep a few things here in my chest to resupply traveling blades. Help yourself to whatever you need. Oh, nice. Although, uh, can I ask you more questions? Your first priority now should be to find Martin and bring him back here. Okay. But first, tell me about the blades. Yes, Boris told you right. I am the Grand Master of the Blades. We serve the Emperor and the Septim bloodline. Talos is our patron. You wonder to find me here? Discretion is our watchword. Only a few of us have the honor to serve publicly in the Imperial Guard. Uh, who's uh, Boris again? One of the youngest blades ever to serve in the Emperor's personal guard. I am glad to hear that he survived, but I fear he will take the Emperor's death particularly hard. Yeah, I imagine. What, what are dragon fires? The coronation of each new emperor is sealed when he uses the Amulet of Kings to light the dragon fires in the Temple of the One. The dragon fires of Akatosh remain lit until the death of the emperor. His successor then lights them anew upon ascending to the throne. Hmm. With Emperor Uriel dead and no successor crowned, 
The Temple of the One will be dark for the first time in centuries. Yeah, so you mentioned. Now what's the Elder Council? The Elder Council rules in the Emperor's absence by ancient tradition. Okay, good. Chancellor Akato heads the Elder Council and is the closest thing the Empire has to a leader right now. All right. But the Blades answer only to the Emperor, of course. We are not an arm of the government. Okay. So, about Martin. He is a priest in the chapel of Akatosh in Kavach. He never knew that he was Uriel Septim's son. How did he not know? You need to find him at once and bring him safely back here. Hmm. Okay. Now, who is this Mayrun's Dagon you mentioned? The Daedra Prince of Destruction, an inveterate foe of all mortal races. He was involved with Jaegar Thahn's plot against the Empire years ago. Oh, I heard about it that. It doesn't surprise me to find his hand in the current calamity. Got a hand in that, huh? Okay. So, what can you assist me with? I don't have much here at hand, but you're welcome to anything you need from my chest in the reading room. Oh, really? Okay. Prior Mabrel and Brother Piner may also be able to help. You should speak to them about it, if you haven't already. I guess I'll talk to them again. Thanks. Waste no time. You must find Martin before the enemy does. Mm. So, we're not that chest. Which chest are you talking about then, exactly? Huh. <clears throat> oh, wait. It is this chest? Suddenly I can now? Mm. Like that. I guess I'll want all the steel arrows. And all your potions. Not sure if I want that though. Mm. Iron cuirass. Weighs quite a bit though. Light armor. But this is heavy armor. Yeah, so is this, but no. Actually, I guess what I have is better. That's probably good. Oh, hi. Any time now. Sure. Brother Piner? What do you want? Uh, can you assist me in any way on this mission? Here. Perhaps you will find this useful. One of the books I saved from my blades training. Okay. You go into danger. Joffrey didn't tell us any more than that, but know that our prayers go with you. Okay. I'll keep that in mind. So, are you with the Order of Talos? It isn't widely known. But many brothers of the Order of Talos are also members of the Blades. Okay. Chapter houses of the Order, like Wayne and Priory, provide safe houses for traveling Blades as well as our more public religious functions. Blades who are too old for the active service often join the Order as lay brothers. We are honored to have Grand Master Joffrey, or Brother Joffrey as he prefers, as a resident here. Okay. And, got any more information on the Blades? The Blades are closely linked to the Order of Talos. We both serve Talos, of course, and many of our brothers are former Blades. Hmm. I myself was training as a Blade when I received the call to serve Talos in a different way. Hmm. Okay, well, thanks. Goodbye. So, yeah, what did you give me exactly? <clears throat> oh, yeah, a book, right? Yay, so now I can block without draining fatigue. That's good. But anyway, thanks for that, but... Yep. Okay, that'll do. And, uh, prior Marlboro? I know that you are on an important mission for the Blades. Please, if you need a horse, take mine from the Priory Stables. You mean that? Uh, that's a generous offer. Thanks. Go with Talos's blessings. Do not fail. Hmm. So I got a free horse, huh? Uh, what do you want? You got anything else? Uh, maybe I could ask for your assistance? You are welcome to take my horse. I rarely travel, so I'm sure you will put her to better use than I. Hmm. Well, I don't have to buy a horse now. Can I keep her? And what can you tell me more about Joffrey? 
You'll most likely find him in the library. Oh, yeah. The Order of Talos? Our order works to spread the teachings and worship of the Divine Talos. Surely you have heard of us. If not, I invite you to spend some time in our fine library. All are welcome here. Hmm. Maybe some other time. And about the blades. The Emperor's elite knights. They dedicate themselves to Talos above and the Septims here on Earth. Okay. The loss of the Emperor must be a terrible blow to them. Now, when it comes to Wayne and Priory here, what's... What is this place exactly? Wayne and Priory is a monastery devoted to the praise and worship of Talos and the Nine Divines. Okay. Brother Piner, Father Joffrey, and I are members of the Order of Talos. Hmm. Eranor, a lay brother, tends after the sheep and our little farm. All right. Oh, yeah, so, uh, yeah, maybe you could tell me about Brother Piner, the guy I just talked to. Brother Piner is a fine young monk, zealous and energetic. In time, I hope he may add patience and prudence to his list of virtues. And Eranor? It's a matter of trust. And I don't trust you enough yet. Oh? Maybe Go ahead. I could bribe you. Blow away, windbag. Oh, you don't like being coarser. Okay. I doubt it. Oh. Goodness, what can I say? Okay. <laughs> Good one. Admire and joke with you, sure. I doubt it. <clears throat> don't make me laugh. No, you do me too much honor. That's pretty good. Okay. I doubt it. What a fool you are. Please, I'm embarrassed. But thank you. <laughs> good one. Don't make me laugh. Uh. I doubt it. That's pretty good. No, you do me too much honor. All right, that'll do. All right, I get you it. Want to talk about Eranor now? It's a matter of trust. And I don't trust you enough yet. Well, I'm... Yeah, I guess that'll do. Farewell. Yep, farewell. Did you just call for someone? <clears throat> so where's your horse? And what's this? What? So this is Wayne and Priory. Oh my. An altar. Oh, nice. Uh, Tamika's West Wheeled Wine, huh? Okay, cool. Then again, I don't believe I really had any ailments anyway. But whatever. Good to know about that regardless. Who are you? I'm the shepherd here. Oh. Eranor's the name. And this is Waynon Priory. Can you assist me in any way? Well, I normally stay out of the affairs of the great folk that come through Waynon Priory to see Master Joffrey. But go ahead and take this hammer. You might have use of it, and I have others. Not much call for smith work around here in any case. You mean, uh... Well, we both have better things to do than stand here all day exchanging idle gossip. Good day to you now. Oh, a repair hammer, yes. Yes? Uh, hold on. I, I do want to talk to you about Joffrey. If he's not sleeping or eating, he'll be fussing with his books, I reckon, over in the Priory House. Yep. And you know any rumors? I'd like to learn more about spell casting. Might have to head over to the Mages Guild and see if they're accepting new members. Yeah, I've been thinking about that, too. See ya. Take care. Oh, crap. Well, I'll just use this. Let's see her. Oh, come on. That was it. Oh my, I guess I really do need to loosen weight. So, is one of these horses for me? Not that one. Pri oh, is it this one? Hmm. So this horse is mine, huh? Well, I'll leave you there for now. Uh -huh. A sheep. A sheep with horns, huh? So, yeah, what do you say?
And what's over here? Force is a okay. Well. Who are you? You want to talk? If you're looking to buy a horse, go inside and talk to Bongon. I already got a free horse. At least, borrowed one, I guess. Know any rumors? I'm not so sure about that Yugo Bolet. An odd fellow. And people have said there are strange noises coming from his house at all hours. Okay. Eh. Goodbye. I can just take this stuff, huh? No matter. Well, I can always just eat some ingredients. Stuff I don't really need much. Stuff I have too much of. And what's up? Uh, what can I... Well, I just want to keep eating some more stuff, I guess. <laughs> I guess that'll do. Uh, mm, nope. Negative properties will wear off too. Okay. Yep, I guess I'll just be waiting. Okay, yep, just wait for that, and, and then I can walk again. Hmm. And, okay, I'm good. Okay, great. Yeah, I don't really need a horse. Oh. Place is locked at this time of the day, that's fine. Or night. We're always on duty. Okay. See ya. Bye. Alright. Let's, a new city. Let's see what this place is like, shall we? Hmm. Huh. Who's this, I wonder? Huh. No, yeah. Well, well what's this about? Hmm. Interesting. Got some Lyamanitas growing around in the statue. Hey, what's up? I'm Glistel. What do you need? Um, maybe I'm just looking for information. Maybe you can tell me about Coral. My housemate, Melintus Ancus, and I are well known in certain circles here. But you don't travel in those circles, do you? I guess not. Know any rumors? I was in Shadenhall last week, and I'm sure I saw Reynold Germain. He acted like he didn't know me, though. Uh, not sure. Who is he? Yes, it's quite odd. Reynold, who I bumped into several times in Coral, acted like I was a complete stranger. Hmm. Also, he seemed sober, which is a refreshing change. Usually, Reynold is stumbling around Coral drunk as can be. Hmm. Very odd, but then it's really none of my business. Huh. Okay. Take care. <clears throat> so... All right, Reynold Germain, huh? Yeah, I guess I should have an, keep an eye on him. Although I should find a bed first and just call it a night. The oak and co cross the other. Is this an inn, or do you serve? What is it? Welcome to the oak enclosure. This one is Talisma, your hostess. Okay. Our rooms and food are at your disposal. Uh, oh, you got beds here too. You know anything about Coral? The Oak and Crozier is the place of choice for well-bred visitors to Coral. The Grey Mare is more suitable for others. Grey Mare? Okay. What's going on, Roger? You ever talk to Hondatar? Odd fellow. But he seems to know his way around these parts. All right. Well, I'd like to rent a room. There's one available for the night, if you're interested. It'll be ten gold. What do you say? Only ten gold? Nice. I'll take it. The room is upstairs, first door to the left. 
Sleep well. Sure thing. Night. Bye. <clears throat> Assassination. I guess I shouldn't take that. Can't even read it. Aha! This is my bed. I guess I'll just sleep for eight hours. Why not? I'm listening. Go ahead. Well, what are you doing in my room, man? What can I do for you? You can tell me why you're here. I mean, dude, what? Farewell. Yeah. Okay. Can you? Why don't you get out of here? Okay, fine. I'll get out of here and leave you in here. Sheesh. I guess I can't go in. Oh, that's a cellar, huh? I guess I can't go in there. I'll just leave then. Ah. So. What? Oh. You just came Hello. outside. Hello. I don't think we've met. Are you new in town? Whoa. I didn't approach you. Uh, yes I am. Pleased to meet you. Likewise. I'm always glad to meet someone new. Welcome. I'm sure my mother would be glad to meet you as well. Why is that? What can you tell me about her? My mother owns Northern Goods and Trade in Coral. Oh. So what's going on around here? I heard that the Countess is quite upset lately. Apparently someone stole something very personal to her. Okay. Oh. See ya. Goodbye. Yep. Hmm. I'll take the leak, sure. Anything else? Nah. Northern Goods and Trade. Oh. And you say your mother owns this place? Hmm. Oh, very interesting. Oh. Only the finest wares to buy and barter at Northern Goods and Trades. I'm Seed Neus, the proprietor. How can I help you? Hmm. What can you tell me about coral? If I don't have what you need, you might try the other coral merchants. Renoir's has books, fire and steel for your armor and weapons. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. What do you know about Joffrey? An old cleric with that name comes in now and then. Lives southeast of town on the Black Road at Waynon Priory. Oh, well, I knew that second part, but okay. Know anything else going on? I saw Vallis Odile at the Grey Mare again today. Hasn't been the same since his boys took off. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what can you train me to do? I'm that? willing to teach oh. if you're willing to learn. Ah... Yeah, I see. I'll train my mercantile skills. So what do you Let's sell? Let's do business. Hmm. I could use some repair hammers. I'll take two of those for now. Yep. Thank you for your patronage. No problem. See ya. Farewell. Not bad. Yeah. Oh, hey, nice. I repaired everything I can, and I didn't even break that repair hammer yet. Hmm. Do you sell paintings too, or are these just decorations? Nice. I was just here, right? Yep. Ooh, I'll take food. If I can uh, carry it all. Ugh. Oh, I didn't want that. Hold on. Let's put it back. Uh, what was it again? Was it the hourglass? Oh yeah, the clay tanker. Then again, I may maybe I'll just take it anyway since I got it. But. Yeah, of course, now I do need to lighten my load again. Uh, can't use that. So... Oh, sure, I'll just drink the mead. Hmm. Is that enough? Am I good? Okay. Don't need 
that. Uh huh, I'll take that. And that. And I can't move anywhere. Oh, shucks. Oh, I wanted to. Uh... Hi, who are you? you Want to talk? I'm Greetings to you. Greetings. I'm Carmen Litter. Perhaps you know my husband, Alberic Litter, the Mage's Guild sorcerer. Hmm. What can I do for you? He's with the Mage's Guild, huh? Well, you can tell me about Coral. Are you a student of the arcane arts? My husband, Alberic, is an advanced trainer in conjuration at the Mages Guild. I see. Okay. Know anything else? Ah, Coral. Easy access to all the other cities of Cyrodiil. Oh, really? Why is that? Oh, well. Good day. Yeah. What is it? Wait, I still can't move? Now I can. What the? Are these? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Are those your dogs? I'm Rena Bruyant. I love dogs. Doesn't everyone? Well, no, but yeah, many do, for sure. Know anything about Coral? They probably call us the dog people here in town. Really? Ramalis and I love dogs. We have quite a few. So sweet and well-behaved, you wouldn't believe. Much more than the dogs I met in the wild, right? Know any rumors? Lots of dogs in this town. Lots of sheep, too. Of course, I prefer the taste of sheep. Oh, yeah. So I guess the dogs are shepherds, too, huh? Farewell. Kazune, I guess. And you are Bailey? Okay. What else is going on here? Ooh, I'll take that ring too. I'll just go ahead and eat that venison. I mean, especially if it, what's here? Or, oh, a house for sale, huh? Huh, if I want to buy anything. You're a bold little thing, aren't you? I'm afraid you're of no use to me. Goodbye. What are you talking about? You're a... Hmm. How can I help you? Eh, I mean, there's not really much to say. Is Welcome there? to Coral. Keep your nose clean, and we'll be good friends. Make a mistake, and the Coral Guard will be all over you like a cheap curus. Oh, don't I know it. Oh. Goodbye. Nothing to talk about. Oh, you got that symbol on your armor, too. Uh, this is what? Coral Mages Guild. Maybe I shouldn't go in just yet. Maybe I will consider it though later. Oh yeah, I, t I spoke to you before, didn't I? Okay. The Fighters Guild, huh? The Fighters Guild and the Mages Guild in this town. So who is this? Can't exactly tell. Perhaps one of the nine divines. And what else is going on? Not a whole lot. So I wonder where that one guy is. I'm Oh. Hmm. Over there, huh? Is where what's his name is? Yeah. No, no, nothing to see there. I'll just explore the edge here.
And what's here? Oh, I guess, uh, I, I, I guess I must be in somebody's backyard, so maybe I should just get out. Ah. Yeah. Uh, I see. Everyone just closes their homes, eh? Hmm. Whoa, very hard. Oh, Reynold Jermaine's house, huh? Hmm, yes. Where is Reynold Jermaine? I guess he's over there, huh? Doing something. Alright. Alright. Ah, uh, yeah. Let's see what's down here now, on this side. Ah, yes! Rate of fatigue regeneration. Oh, good. The gray mare. Oh, is this a... Uh, I see. An honor to serve you. I'm Imfrid, owner and publican of the Grey Mare at your service. A room? Or food? Whatever you wish. Hmm. Uh, what's going on here in Coral, or what's this place like? In Coral, we don't think much about what goes on in the Imperial Palace. Why? But these murders, the Emperor and all his sons dead? What's next? Yeah. Okay, so surely you know about Joffrey. The old fellow? At Wayne and Priory? It's a small community outside the walls, southeast of the Coral Gate on the Black Road. Okay. Oh, see ya. You Hello. too. You haven't seen my sons, have you? Huh? They went off into the forest to fight those monsters, and I'm worried about them. That's so sad. No doubt. <laughs> I'm through talking to you. Okay, wow. That orc is... Well, brushing. ain't you the high tom titty. You want something, I guess, or you wouldn't be messing up my air. Wow. Not a friendly orc, huh? Okay. Maybe you can at least just tell me about Coral. Yeah. I used to be Fighters Guild here in Coral. Used to be? But I done some incarceration for trespassing and theft. A couple of times. Hmm. You know, they kick you out of the guild if you get caught doing some incarceration. How many? I forget. But I did a lot. I see. Know anything else? The local tavern is a good place to find work. Okay. Good day. Yeah. So, Hello. I, I overheard you. haven't you... seen my sons, have you? They went off into the forest to fight those monsters, and I'm worried about them. My sons. Have you seen my sons? No, I haven't. But tell me about them. Yes. Rallis and Antis. They're going to fight off the creatures at our farm, but I fear for their safety. What? What creatures? For the last few days, we've suffered attacks from these creatures at our farm not far from Coral. They're coming from some place in the Great Forest. I don't know where, but Rallis may know more by now. Mm, who? My boys will take up the fight, even if the guards won't. Doesn't matter if it's outside the town walls, it still affects us all. Hmm. They expect me to go with them, but I... I fear in my old age I'm not the warrior I once was. Would you... Would you go in my place? I'll help. Consider it done. Somehow, I knew you'd do the right thing. I'm supposed to meet them at Wayne and Priory. You'd best get whatever supplies you need now, so you can get there in time. Hmm. I... I need a drink to calm my nerves. Please, excuse me. Have you talked to my sons yet? I don't want them leaving on their own. Tell me more about these creatures. Rallis knows why we have to be the ones to get rid of them. Antis, he's another story. He's a good boy, but he's hot-headed. Keep a close eye on him, will you? Okay. Know anything else going on around here? The Oak Crozier is a nice place, but... That talisman seems rather stuck up to me. Hmm. And about your sons? Watch over them, and keep them safe. I couldn't bear to lose them to those monsters. Alright. I'll do what Good I can. Good luck to you. Yep. 
and you're R Reynold Germain. Hi there. If I've told you once, I've told you a thousand times, I've never been to Chainol. I... Oh, hang on, you're someone else. Are you drunk or something? Apologies, my good friend. Yeah. I mistook you for someone else. Always being asked about it, I am. Didn't I see you in Chainol, they say? Hmm. But I'm sick of it. Sick and tired, tired and sick, and perhaps a little drunk. Maybe a lot but drunk. But never mind. You look like the honest sort, so I've got a job for you. Oh? You're going to travel to Shane Hall and find out what sort of imposter is trying to besmirch my good name. And you're going to tell him... <gasps> you're going to tell him I'm quite capable of besmirching my good name on my own. You should cease and desist immediately. Uh, There's 50 gold pieces in it for you, friend. Right then. Off you go. Yeah, uh... I swear I didn't know that was your pig. Eh? Oh, sorry. I look like someone else just then. Oh, really? Or rather, you did. Yeah, that's it. <gasps> uh, aren't you doing a job for me? You should be off then. Uh, okay. I guess you already at least partially paid me in advance, so sure, I'll do that task for you. Where is Chayden Hall exactly? Let's see here. Skin grad, Shaden Hall, Anvil, Gimage, huh, Ruma, Shaden Hall, ah, oh. yes, to the west of here, and uh, nope, uh, I'm not gonna fast travel there, I guess this will do for now. I guess I should just see what else is going on here, ah, fire and steed, hey, what's this? What's in here? Welcome to Coral. Keep your nose clean, and we'll be good friends. Make a mistake, and the Coral Guard will be all over you like a cheap curus. Uh... So, did you know anything about creatures outside the town? Aye. We've heard the old man's story. Nothing to back it up, though, except the word of those two kids of his. <laughs> no real evidence. Even if it was true, it's out in the forest somewhere. We need to keep what's inside the town walls safe, not go running around outside them. Uh, well, do you know anything else going on? I saw Valis Odile at the Grey Mare again today. Hasn't been the same since his boys took off. Oh, yeah. We did, you just talked about him, too. Farewell. Yep. So what's this? Is this the headquarters for the watch? Castle Coral Great Hall. Okay. I'll just come in here. Hey, you. Hey, you. How goes it? Okay. Who? And you are ah. Uh, Hello, Countess. Welcome to Castle Coral. It's a pleasure to meet you. I am Countess Velga of Coral. I wish I had time to chat, but I'm afraid I'm in the middle of an investigation. Okay. Let's talk through this. Uh, how, how much would a house? cost here. I don't trust you enough to talk about that. <sighs> Fine. We'll see. I'll make you trust me more. Good one. Okay, you like jokes. Is that so? Such adventures. How I envy you. Not now, not later, not ever. You're wasting your breath. Yeah, I get it. Don't waste your flattery on me. Gracious, what a hero. I'm actually lower than I was before. Good one. Don't waste your flattery on me. Gracious, what a hero. That's uh, just talk. Oh man, lower now. Yeah, I get it. Not now, not later, not ever. That's amazing. That's In just talk. Okay, so m my disposition is higher now. Can't do better than that. So? It's a matter of trust. And I don't trust you enough yet. Yeah, and I would rather not give you anything either. So, okay, fine. We'll talk about some other things. Who's this Chancellor Okato? As the head of the Elder Council, High Chancellor Okato is the de facto ruler of the Empire for the time being. Oh, yes. Okay, so what's happening in Coral? We're a mountain people, tough, independent. County Coral is rich in mines and timber, wool and mutton, and hard-working people. Hmm. All right.
Alright, so... You know anything about, uh... What's going on outside? You seem the trusting type. Perhaps you can assist me. It seems someone has taken away an heirloom that is quite dear to me. I want you to help me recover a stolen painting. Painting? The painting was of my lost love, the Count Valga. And it has been stolen from my bedchamber. Ah. If you find the painting and bring the culprit to justice, you shall be justly rewarded. What say you? Uh, sure. I'd be glad to help. Very well. I suggest you begin to gather clues. And I warn you, do not accuse the wrong person, or I shall be quite cross with you. I guess I'll just have to be careful. Here then. are some keys. They should allow you access to many of the restricted areas in Castle Coral. Alright. Gather clues. Your best bet is to speak to residents of the castle. Once you have found out all you can, search for physical clues. Hmm. Okay. Okay, for castle residents. Chanel and Orgnolf both reside in the private quarters section. They have been restricted to remain indoors, so they should be easy to find. Hmm. You may also want to speak to Bitneld, the captain of the guard. He can be found on patrol in Coral or in the barracks. All right. Finally, I would try speaking to Orak Grogoff, who is my steward. He resides in the private quarters section as well. Okay. Oh, if okay. he isn't in the castle, he may be at the Northern Goods and Trade, buying food to stock our larder. Yeah, so who else should I accuse exactly? When you find enough evidence, confront the person whom you believe to be the villain and see if they will confess. I do not wish them harmed, as I want the thief to face justice. Okay, that's fair. So, uh, how else should I gather clues? I was elsewhere at the time of the robbery, and the chamber was locked. Oh. The only other people who have had access to the chamber and were unaccounted for are the court mage, Chanel, and the porter, Orgnolf. Mm. Don't forget to check with Bitneld, the captain of the guard, my steward, Oruk Grogoth, and my herald, Laith Wavrik. I see. No any rumors. I have not read the works of Mrs. Otis. I'm told some find her guidebooks useful, though she apparently has strong opinions on some matters. Okay. And, uh, maybe you could describe this stolen painting some more. The painting is all I have left that reminds me of the Count. Oh, fine. I spend many a lonely night wishing that the words I speak to it will be heard and not just fall upon the lifeless pigments and canvas. Hmm. Well, all right. Good luck, investigator. Oh, sure. So in other words, good luck, detective. Yeah. <clears throat> I'll look through this. Okay, yeah, I guess I'll, I'll already talk to her. Alright. Hmm, can't go, wait. Whose quarters? Oh, for private quarters. I, oh, wait, hey, hey. Dang it. Who were you? I may have wanted to talk. Oh, wait, who, who are you? Hello. Oh, hi. What? Ahem. <laughs> well, first, tell me rumors. The local tavern is a good place to find work. Okay, and about Coral? When we're better friends, ask again. All right, I need to in to ask you a few questions about- I don't trust you enough to reveal details about the castle to you. No, it's not about the castle. Not specifically. What? All right. Say, <laughs> that's really funny. Oh, you really like that, huh? Oh, please. I wish I could say that. Okay. What nonsense. Boast and joke. Not now, not later, not ever. Remarkable. That's just talk. Wow, well, my disposition was at eight. Oh, I at that like one that point. a lot. I wish I could say that. <laughs> you can't scare me. Oh, where'd you get that? <laughs> That's good. Don't try to manipulate me. I don't talk such rot. Uh -huh. What a great story. Oh, please. Oh, that's great. <laughs> that's really too much. Yep. Really? Interesting. Yep. Is that so? 
That's great. <laughs> uh, how's it go again? I don't talk such rot. I'm... Really? Interesting. You don't talk such rot. I thought you were talking to me. That's just talk. Say, <laughs> that's really funny. Uh -huh. Don't try to manipulate me. That's great. <laughs> uh, how's it go again? What nonsense. Remarkable. That's just talk. Remarkable. That's just talk. Oh, where'd you get that? <laughs> That's good. Don't waste your flattery on me. Well, just keep this up. Is that so? Oh, I like that. A lot. Don't waste your flattery on me. What a great story. I wish I could say that. Is that so? Oh, I like that. A lot. I don't talk such rot. Well, it's a All lot right, higher, so... I get it. Yeah, so, you want to talk about it now? Huh. I don't remember seeing Channel or Orgnolf that entire evening. Oh. But then again, I stayed in my quarters most of the night. There was no point in going on my usual walk with all of the rain falling. Mm. As far as Channel and Orgnolf go, they seem fine to me. I only had a minor scrape with Orgnolf recently. I caught him drinking in the West Tower on the upper level. I told him if he didn't stop, I would tell the Countess. He just grumbled and agreed. Mm, I see. He hasn't bothered me since. Know anything else about Coral? Do you know Renald Germain, the fellow who lives on the west side of Coral? Yes, I do. I saw him in Shedinol recently and said hi. And he pretended he didn't know me. Mm. I was quite irritated and haven't spoken to him since. Mm, so he... But I wonder... Was he really trying to be a fool? Or was something wrong? Hmm. Yeah, maybe there is a double of him. He mentioned it before, yep. Huh. Okay. Farewell. Oh, well, can't go there, can I? Wait. Oh. Display case. Uh. Greetings, investigator. The bodyguard. Excuse me. I'm on duty. I need to talk to you about the stolen painting. I was with the Countess all evening. Didn't see a thing. Okay. Great. Good day. That's fine news. All right. Hello, I'm Leith Wafric, the Chief Herald and Countess Velga's attendant. Welcome to Coral. Uh, Countess Velga, do you know anything about her? The Countess is in attendance. Proper etiquette is expected. Okay. And maybe you can tell me clues about the stolen painting. My duties rely on watching no more than the throne and attending to visitors. Okay. But confidentially, I will say that... Orgnolf has been acting a bit unusual. His abuse of drink has gotten worse lately. Hmm. He is taken to asking for money from others to purchase spirits. A porter's wage does not befit his habit. I see. Okay. Hmm. Fair Fair care. Anyone else? else around here I could ask I mean there's like an oh man in their private quarters come on so what that means I gotta wait before I can continue my investigation but yeah I'm not sure if the countess would like that I mean really so I mean but but how often do I have to wait do I gotta I mean, hold on what time is it now oh oh sorry can I wait in the air of course it's morning, huh? And it's almost noon, though. Greetings, investigator. Oh, hey, a book about the Amulet of Kings. Okay. Okay, anyway. Greetings, investigator. Uh, yeah. 
Okay, what's... I mean, is there anyone... Ugh. Hello there. Well, that's lame, isn't it? I mean... Yeah. Can't exactly continue my investigation until... Oh, ho, 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 wait, wait, wait. Did he exit? Wait, I mean, are they both in that place right there? How goes uh, it? Uh... I've already talked to you. I really wonder. I mean, yeah, granted, there's no one watching me anyway, so... I guess they're... Okay. Can anyone see me? Man, should I do this? Ah, it's a hard lock. Yeah. Oh! Well, well, well. Okay, good. to meet someone oh I guess whoever it is is down here or is it here ah uh, yeah I need to talk to you channel hello Are you searching for something uh no know anything about the theft of the stolen painting I am sorry I don't really feel comfortable talking with you about that night I barely know you. Okay, maybe you can tell me about Coral. We're simple, God's fearing folk here in County Coral. Easterners worship their wallets and their fat bellies. Okay, maybe we can. We'll see. Yeah, get better acquainted. You should be ashamed. Uh, That's just talk. Okay, well. Really? Interesting. Really now? You're such a charm. I'll boast and charm you. Not funny. Not even a little bit. Well done. Goodness, what can I say? That's just talk. Well done. Really now, you're such a charmer. That's high. Is that so? You should be ashamed. You're wasting your breath. Not funny. Not even a little bit. What a great story. No, you do me too much honor. What a wonderful compliment. You're wasting your breath. Not funny. Not even a little bit. Remarkable. Okay. You can't scare me. You're revolting. Really? Interesting. Please, I'm embarrassed. But thank you. That's just talk. You should be ashamed. What a great story. Really now, All right. you're such a charmer. Rising slowly, you can't hey. scare me. Not funny, not even a little bit. Remarkable. Goodness, what can I say? So it can so you higher. can't scare me. You should be ashamed. Remarkable. What a wonderful compliment. Well done. No, you do me too much honor. You're wasting your breath. You should be ashamed. Mm, higher than it has been before. I wish I could say that. No, you do me too much honor. You're wasting your breath. Ugh, that's foul. Really? Interesting. Goodness, what can I say? You can't scare me. I wonder how high You're this revolting. can go. I mean, it's at 74 and I can go even higher. That's, huh. Oh, please. Ugh, that's foul. Really? Interesting. Goodness, what can oh, I wow. say? Right at 75. You're good. Yeah, so... Can you tell me anything now? The night that the painting was stolen, I was in the courtyard of the castle taking star readings. After a while, I decided to go into the dining area just off the Great Hall. I poured myself some wine and studied the charts I had made until it was time to sleep. Okay. From there, I went directly to my chamber and slept the rest of the night. So, anything else? Yes. I have heard that the painting of the Count was taken. Yeah. I was unaware she hired an outsider to conduct the investigation. May luck be with you. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Know anything about the painting itself? The stolen painting was of Count Volga. Uh. Whoever painted it could not do the man justice. He was kind and noble, which is difficult to convey on canvas. I'm afraid other than that, 
I cannot offer much more information. Okay, fair enough. I shouldn't accuse you, should I? Okay, uh... <clears throat> Until your return. Okay. Uh. Wait. Okay, good. I guess I forgot about the keys I got. Man. So, is anyone up here? You can tell me more. What the... It's you. Hi. What the? Whoa. Hello. I'm Castor Scribonia, the writer, author of Woman Gone Wild. Hmm. What's going on in Coral? Who is the fairest of them all, other than myself? The proprietor of the Grey Mare is lovely. She and the guard captain would be a nice couple. Cool. What's up? What else is happening? I was in Shadenhall last week. And I'm sure I saw Reynold Germain. He acted like he didn't know me, though. Yeah, so I heard. Good day. Okay, hold on. Is there someone else in the castle I can investigate? Uh. Hello more there. private quarters here? Hi there. I'm kind of busy. Oh, hi. You yes. again? What do you so, mean? you a living statue, or are you gonna say something? Well... I'm investigating So, here. the Count has hired you to find the painting, eh? Well, you'll not find it by gawking at me. Hmm. You sure about that? What can you tell me? Well, tell me about Coral. Coral's first. got plenty to eat and good thick walls, and that suits me fine. I don't know what's going on out there in the woods, and I don't need to. Uh, maybe you can uh, tell me some clues. Who do you think you are questioning me? I'd just as soon ask a goblin maiden to a dance than to answer your stupid questions. Oh, uh, fine. I'll do this again. Hold it. Oh, it's Valga's errand boy. How goes the big, important investigation? What do you know about the stool and painting? Aye, it was a fine portrait of a fine man. Yep. That's it? Okay, here. I'm listening. I doubt you really mean that. Mm. Oh, where'd you get that? <laughs> That's good. So you like jokes, huh? You've got a point. Okay. You're full of it. Oh, that's great. <laughs> that's really too much. I won't fight you. I doubt you really mean that. You're pathetic. I doubt you really mean that. Blah, blah, blah. What a bore. Oh, where'd you get that? <laughs> That's good. I won't fight you. You've got a point. I doubt you really mean that. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. That's great. <laughs> uh, how's it go again? Oh, where'd you get that? <laughs> That's good. That's enough. Eh. I'm not buying that one. You're full of it. Wonder how far this one can go. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Oh, where'd you get that? <laughs> That's good. I won't fight you. Was that supposed to be a compliment? Sure, that's higher than before. Blah, blah, blah. What a bore. Oh, that's great. <laughs> that's really too much. That's enough. That's a bit excessive, don't okay, you think? Okay, I guess that'll do. That works for me. Okay, so do you want to talk about the information now? The night of the theft, I was in the Great Hall, having an argument with a delivery boy from Braville. Oh. It seems his horse lost its footing in the heavy rain we had that night, and the shipment of port that it was carrying slipped to the ground. Oh, the fall broke most of the bottles. He didn't want to claim responsibility, but I gave him what for and sent him away. After that, I spent the rest of the night in my quarters, reading. Reading, you say? Okay.
Huh. Who else wants to need work a... for poor old Orgnolf. Yeah, and me too. Back to work on my investigation. Who else did I need to ask again? How are you? Wait. Wait. What? Oh. Okay, I guess it goes this way. Well. I guess whoever it is is someone outside this palace, eh? Though with that, since, you know, it's getting quite late, I should just stop here for the night. Tomorrow I'll continue this investigation. And, I don't know, I don't know it looks like, oh. So someone else in the barracks, eh? Well, anyway. I'll solve this case and then do some other quests as well. Until then, see ya!